Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. I have been busy over the sort of weekend doing other bits and pieces like uh, to do some testing. Anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to upgrade the armour to Waven armour. So let's get on and start doing that. Now, I actually don't have enough Dacronian blocks to start with because let's have a look at the chest plate here. Basically I've only got three Dacronian blocks left. I guess about that pronounced that wrong. And we need, um, I was doing a chest plate here, so I need six. So let's get some more. Now there is a bug in the quest, and I haven't upgraded yet, but I think we can do this one anyway. So we need, um, I basically need, how much do I need? $100 I think I need. Let's just clear that off. So let's just do this like that, put this into here. We need... 20, those will be five dollars won't we so we need 20 of those 19 I am short of 19 I'm short of four dollars let's go and get four dollars out of the out of the chest right in this chest there is plenty of dollars one two three four that should be enough to do the the last 20th must have miscounted. So we've got twenty dollars now, so we should be able to make that into hundreds. Nope, not like that. That would be twenty-five. That would make twenties, wouldn't it? Okay. Five twenties. <laughs> what am I doing wrong here? Oh, I know. Give me one hundred dollars, and the quest for this one hundred dollars under crystallize should give us this one. That's actually got reset, but it's actually buggy. Uh, yeah, so let's take that one and claim this. Done. Actually, this has reset itself, and it's supposed to reset itself almost straight away, and I think. I'm not exactly sure, but sometimes it doesn't work. One, the other one I'm going to do is this one here. So we need another ten dollars. See, now it's completed all the meat. It might be because I was messing around with this, trying to see if I could get it to work. So we need another five dollars. Let's take half of that, split it into three. Oh, put up there. I think it's five dollars we need. Now let's get this one. Let's double check that quest by the way. I want to just check it. Uh, ten dollars yeah exactly uh, so i should be able to go i need it on the crafting board of course one <laughs> and again two two five and it does split the other way which is good ten dollars what i want to do with this is it actually opens up another quest so let's detect and submit this one we also get a second information tablet. We also get an energy infuser. Done. Now that actually opens up this quest here. Bleep. Which basically we get $500 and we get a tomb of knowledge. So it's actually important to do this quest, strangely enough. Outer rim's automatically completed. And as you can see, the ones which should, anything with a cooldown on it, like these here, should get cooled down and start again. But they don't always. So I think I did it in some of mine as I set it to 10 seconds, edited the thing, put it to 10 seconds, and it started to work fine. Another one that would be quite useful is this one. So $2. Let's go and get two sets of... You see, now this is working just fine. Let's get $4 out of here. And get two ingots. These aren't too, actually aren't too bad. They are stable. So let's go to the quests again. Oh yes, I haven't done the two dollars yet, have I? Oh, I can do this on my, on my body, as it were, self-crafting. And then I can claim those, do that quest. Detect, claim, done. Where's it gone to? Now it's green. But it should, that should cool down. Ah, it doesn't do. Never mind. Brave enough. It's a bit daft just having one 
unstable ingot. I'll put it away in here anyway. You really do need two. Because an unstable ingot by itself is not what it's use. Can make a shovel and that's it. Right, okay, that'll put that away. And there's just there. So now we can carry on and do this. So I can uncraft this and that'll give me 18 more ingots of draconium. So I should be able to make some of this armor now. Uh, okay, we need a diamond chest plate. Let's get on. In fact, we need diamond everything. So, but diamonds ain't a problem. So let's clear that off. We'll need diamond leggings as well, I guess. For the leggings. Uh, we'll need a, a, a diamond helmet for the helmet. And we'll need a diamond pair of boots for that. Okay, so now we should be able to do the rest of it. Uh, one waving chest plate leggings now what are we missing on this one we were missing the top one weren't we um so we'll look at that again waving cores we need basically um four of these and i need to make some more nether stars of course and i should have a couple of nether stars in here but i need at least one more so let's go and make one more of these things we can carry on for the time being because we need to charge these up we'll do that so I'll make the leggings first leggings and then what have we got now one draconium ingot I guess we're short of draconium again huh boots let's make some boots yeah we're now short of some more draconium we need to make get some more well I've still got plenty of money to do that oops So we need another hundred dollars. Let's take half of those out. That put that in there. Oops, didn't work. Sixty-four, twenty-eight. I think I need thirty, thirty-six, don't I? That'll be enough. I'll put the rest back when we've we've dealt with it. So clear that off. Twenty-one. That's fine. That'll give us a hundred dollars. It's like this, isn't it? One hundred twenty-five. I need as much as I've got extra. So we need five of these, don't we? Let's click. Let's do that quest again. Done. This one. Detect. Claim. Done. So now we've got another eighteen. So that's fine. Flip those up. That should be enough now to complete the armor. But of course, I've got to make another another star. So that was no big. That these days is no big deal. So what have I got? I need some boots. I wanted some boots, didn't I? Boots. And this is where we run out of stuff. So we, all we need then would be the helmet. Actually, we can put these on. I think these might enchant. Well, let's go and see if they actually do enchant. The way to find out is just put one in here. Waving leggings. Ah, oh, I need a book, don't I? Well, oh, it doesn't really matter what I've got. I've probably got a book in here that'll do fortune. I think these might not be useful. If you just let's see. Soulbound. So that would actually work as a, an enchant, wouldn't it? In fact, putting soulbound on everything is a good idea. Let's see, on to. Yeah, so they didn't they enchant fine, good. Put that down there. So we can get some really good enchants on this armor, so that we might as well charge it up while we're, while I'm thinking about it. Let's put them into here. There's three. Ah <laughs> nope. That's actually is that charging up? Oh it's already charged. Oh, of course it's already charged. And you know why? Because I've got the wireless charger running these days. I've forgotten about it. So now let's go and get this next nether star. So we basically need a. Well, I'm going to stick to the easiest way because the easiest way is. What have we got in here? Hey, I've got 64 nickel in here. I need to get rid of all the stuff I've got on me, of course. Whenever ever I'm doing any mine kind of stuff, you need lots of space. So let's do control space on that one and take this out of there. 
Uh, might as well put the nickel in here and let it go through. And that sh on at the moment, so that will end up in this chest here as bari barium. And let's turn that off. Put it back into this chest here. And then that'll end up here as cupinicum. Oh no, it won't. It'll end up in here as 16 cupinicum. That's good. So that works very nicely for the things we're going to do. We'll put that in here for the time being. And we shall go and get uh, 11 stacks of hydrogen and one stack of carbon. Let's remove this out of the way and then I can see well, if I'm actually doing it right. Because I prefer to use a hand. I think that's 11. Let's have a quick look. It's 9 per... So that would be then 10 and 11 down there, that's fine. So in here, oh, actually I'm going to put three stacks of hydrogen, one stack of carbon, and then we're going to right, make the rest into helium. Actually, that's nine stacks. Take one stack out of there, we don't need nine stacks. Turn that on. And then our helium will start to come in here fine. So we need four stacks of helium. One, two. I think I've already got some in here, to be honest with you. Three, four. That'll do. So we can quickly make the other nether star. And I think the book may be already in place. Indeed it is. So one, two, three, four. Plus the cupernicum. And then we go one nether star, I guess. Yeah, fine. Oh, we got other stuff in there that I was using to make other bits and pieces. So we've got another star. That's fairly quick and painless these days. I probably could even automate that, but I don't know how many never stars we ever need. So right, let's go back. And now we need to make the helmet wasn't it, which is this one. So we need to make one wave and core. And that should be be enough to make the helmet. I think we've got everything else made already. Oh, of course. <laughs> I put the helmet, I put all my stuff downstairs and left it down there, didn't I? Yep. Fact, I might as well leave the hand. I'll put the hydrogen in here and make some more helium with it. Just the helmet wasn't it and you see this is as you see it's charging up it's actually fairly fast so it's quite impressive so now we should be able to <laughs> and we've got three ingots of uh i've got one spare energy core because the next thing i wanted to make was actually a bow but obviously i've got to get some a lot more draconium for that so basically another make another one of these and each one of these takes four so you need four for that, 16 plus the other four, 20 and two. So we need 22, which is quite a lot of fun. But I can do that over time, no big deal. So let's put this on, see how it looks. Helmet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Chest plate. Leggings and boots. Well, they are. I look like something else sometimes. So I look, press escape, press F5 twice and see what we look like. <laughs> well, I look like a piece of Lego. Right. So the next thing I'm going to do is have a look at the meals we've been doing. I feel like that's quite funny, actually. I'm glad I don't see myself in the mirror all the time. Anyway, this. This is my attempt to make um, slag, uh, scrap. Basically, got scrap in here, and it turn it can turn it on no problem. And what we're doing here is we're making phyto grow. We've got lots of phyto grow. This is actually being made at the back here. So on this export bus, I've got the crafting card and this, this, an acceleration card. On the other side here, I basically, oops, what did I just do? Oh, I tried to drink something. I've got this one over here. Oh, I'll have this in my hand. Use that which is importing scrap and it's crafty scrap at the same time 
Now, scrap crafting scraps always a, a bit not so easy to do, basically. And here I've got some a stack upgrade and some speed upgrades. As you can see, that's <laughs> checking those very fast. And then here we've got two rationing pipes. So that's basically keeping one stack of scrap and one stack of fighter going there. So if I turn this on now, you'll see what happens. It actually comes really funny because it comes from the roof. Eventually, if it's not busy already, uh, it's probably be already busy making <laughs> making money. <laughs> Have a quick check upstairs. Oh, aha! Uh -huh. Now I've got something in my in my on my screen on the bottom left hand side. Yes, you see, it's making money. I quickly turn this off like that, and you'll see that they go down. And I think that might be because of the, fort um, the fortune on them. They're certainly in range down here. So it's making scrap. And it's making scrap very fast, as you can see. But I'm going to come up to that, and we'll do that later. We'll finish this off later on, I think. <laughs> okay, I want to make some more money, so let's get the money being made. Right. Now, what's? let's have a look at the recipe for Phytogrow. Oh, I've got it here on me, haven't I? Let's have a look at the recipe for this. Basically, it's saltpeter, pulverized coal, and slag. Slag, saltpeter here, or nitra, and two ink sacks, and I think, yeah, potassium. Potassium nitrate. Now, here, if you look at the recipes for these, basically it's it's not so easy. You, you're sort of getting smooth sandstone, which are basically you're pulverizing the sandstone and you've got a twenty percent chance or a fifty percent chance of blocks here. Same with the stagmill, you've got actually I don't know what the stagmill does. How much is it what's the chance? Fifteen percent, so that's the worst of all. Another way to do it, of course, is to do soul sand. Here we've got industrial cleft empty cells, gives us oil cells, coal dust, sand. Actually six from 16 you get 10 sand and 4 saltpeter that's one way and I'm thinking about doing that but I haven't done it yet and then we're back to those recipes now the next way of doing it is wait for it, we'll get this one this one here potassium nitrate now the potassium nitrate you can get from basically decomposing gunpowder gives you one or, let's go through this, you can deep decompose a small pile of gunpowder from foundry. So when you, and that's the rest of it, basically they're all gunpowdery things, aren't they? So you're getting it from gunpowder here. Except for this, which is a block of sulphur from set industries. Okay, we don't, I guess that's maybe that one. And what have we got here? An ocelot bait. Okay, it's not surprising, since it's all gun, also gunpowder. So, this one here is made. Let's have a look at the recipes for that. We've got we've got gunpowder here. See, so I've got small piles of gunpowder from foundry. But when you're actually this one here, the recipe for this. Oops, let's just add that again, didn't I? Let's click that one and then type the recipe on this one. You basically got you can you can decom well shapeless craft gunpowder gives you four. And you can sieve moon turf. So sieving moon turf gives us a 50% chance of drop of gunpowder. So that's a pretty good way of doing it. And you can all convert small piles of gunpowder into this tech reborn one. So let's have a look at this. The recipe for this one is basically small piles of either tech reborn, uh, tech reborn or foundry like this, what gives you gunpowder. So it's obviously much better to decompose um, these, which ones? Let's do that again. Mob drops, yeah, fine. To decompose, to use these and to use full gunpowders because you get four times as much. But when you're sieving this, when you're sieving um, moon turf, you're getting the tech reborn one. So all you have to do is to come along, let's get some out of here. Terraborn, there we go, lots of it. Come to an ore converter. And all you have to do is put it into the ore converter. Then you get the choice. So you can get the small foundry gunpowder. 
Actually, if we just take one of those, I think I can. Yep, I can do it that way. Now I've got too much stuff in my inventory. Let's just put something away. Uh, let's put this redstone torch away here. Redstone lamp, good. So, in the in this one here, oh, that's right. In the this one here, we've got our predefined. So this is the automatic ore converter. So we put a small pound of foundry dust in here like that. And then you can push these through. If I push them half through like that, you'll see that they get converted to the foundry one. In fact, as it happens, it's also the default. So you see this comes back as foundry. So that's the default one anyway. I'll put this back in the system. So then you can decompose those. And that's what I'm doing. So basically what I've got downstairs here is I have set up this ore converter here like this to do this. And then on the on this side we've got a recipe to do this as well. It's just in a pattern which decom which converts it to foundry. I've left that in just to be absolutely sure that you're getting the right one. And then I'm decomposing it. So the first decomposer over here, I think is the one I'm using. Indeed I am. So you've got small pounds of foundry making this. Now the trouble is this for some reason I've got one. This is not a hundred oh yeah, I know why. This is not a hundred renewable. You've got to basically go quarrying for it. So that's a, the only drawback on that. But when this is working though it works pretty fast and it's making quite a lot of scrap. But cheaper what well, I suppose cheaper is going to Venus and I've not been to Venus for a while. So I'm gonna to have to go back to Venus and set up another quarry. So that's my scrap processing. Um, this is obviously going to be busy making money for quite a long time because it's it's reasonably slow, even if I do upgrade it. But uh, I thought I'd show you that, show you how it works. It's quite neat, isn't it? So I've actually got some money in here as well. So we probably do have enough money to make the, the rest of it. But I think I would like to go and test this armor, but I don't know how good it is yet. So let's, I've got to find a place. I want to put the other old armor in somewhere. Let's just, yeah, it'll do in here, won't it? I'm just thinking whether I should disenchant the armor I've got. This stuff here, because those are actually quite expensive. But I reckon that the waving stuff is probably better. From, Anyway, so that was that one. What I want to do next time is go to Castello. So I'm preventing myself doing that this time. But I am thinking about something here quite hard. I'm just wondering what to do next, because I did this a bit quicker than I expected to do it. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's have a look at this reinforced casings from Tech Reborn, because they're very expensive in this pack. Um, Because that's actually one of our quests is to make uh, an advanced casing, isn't it? If I can see what they look like. Actually, it's quite a lot in Tech Reborn, isn't it? But I haven't seen any of these crushed crushed doors because we don't sort of need to do those type of doors very much, do we? Um, where is it? Here we go. This is the reinforced casing. This is where we need the standard casing. Not a problem. Data storage circuits. Also not a problem, because we need to basically get emeralds. I need to get this one working, actually. Emeralds, I need to basic, to get some processing for that. And I think the best way to do that is through mine chem. Because this is easy nowadays. We can do these ones very easily. We can do all of this pretty easily. I just need to set it up as an automation. Because barrel... Well, actually, it's not so easy, is it? But it's not impossible to do. I think I'll do that between... Uh, over the Christmas break, I'll get some emeralds automated up. Because Christmas is coming up, strangely enough, very quickly. And I'm not going to be able to make any videos. So when, when I can't make any videos, I'll usually go and play another pack. Or do something like that. Because I've got family over and all the rest of it. So... so it would be also nice to be able to get this 
Philosopher's Stone. And I'm not sure how we get it. I'm not sure if it's even possible to get it in this pack. It's supposed to be got when you, you've ground the wither and it's supposed to spawn another um, mob. And then it drops the Philosopher's Stone. It would be nice to be able to do that. Because we can do and then we could do the diamonds ones. So that would be pretty easy as well. Anyway, that's I'm just rubbing on at the moment. The other thing I've done is this one. Let's have a look at this thing. I think this is just another charging station. So let, we could put this down, say, here. Ah, indeed it is. So what we can do with this is we could charge up our armor. I'm just wondering if there's anything else we can charge up with this. It's got a 1 million, no, a 10 million storage by the looks of it. So, and the energy infuser. So you put your items in there and I guess it just charges them up. I thought, well, what could we actually charge up those? But they already got charged up. I'd have to turn off the, the wireless receiver to do that. Okay. Not so necessary. Right, I have an idea. The reason I made this armour is because somebody said it gives you protection on Elpis. So let's actually go and check whether it does give us protection on Elpis. I need this, and I'm going to take a one single waystone, if I can see it. Where are they? They should be in here. The return scroll is what I want, actually. And maybe I put them somewhere daft, like put them in the system. Nope. Oh, I did go back and go to the thing that I wanted to put those return scrolls. Ah. They're not in there. They're not in there. It doesn't really matter that much, to be honest with you. We won't we have any problem. Let's just do it anyway. So, the last few minutes of this thing. Let's go to Elpis. time of day is it's, it's evening time that's fine let's just oh that's a bit strong isn't it what I don't have of course now is my glider you can see this is this is actually finished oh I don't have a jump boost <laughs> well I'll go and get those in if I can I'll go and get those enchants made won't I see this is already finished and that car, that's full of carbon, this is completely mined out. I can't jump up over here, so I'll... <laughs> we have a very big hole there now, right down to dead bedrock. So I've got... Oh, what was that noise? That's an interesting noise. I think that came from the armour by the sounds of it. Yep, it's going bang. I well, don't know what it means. I can see that the RF's going down, E. Nausea 3, but it's not affecting me. Okay, good. I would prefer to turn that down a bit. Well, I'll start. I wonder if I stand in this, it actually helps. Oh. It is, but it goes, every time, every time nausea kicks in, it makes that noise. So I wonder if we've got something we can actually have a look at the controls. And let's have a look. So what we've got now is uh, Draconian Armour. Place items in the world. Configuration C. Change tool configuration profile. Pack slash. Toggle creative flight. Can we do creative flight? Let's have a look for that. F. No, F's already done there. We can uh, spaceship inventory. Let's press I on that one. Uh, F still useless. If look, F works. Nope. I must have to do something else for creative flight. I think. Maybe I do have to check the, the controls again. Escape. Options, controls. Let's see well, if we can find the other F. 
Toggle creative light. Do you know, I'm getting a lot more noises here. Let's make this one, press escape on that one, that'll do. Done. Done. Back to game, and let's press F again. Do I see anywhere that it says I've got creative flight? No. Let's just see if it works. Nope. Nope. So I've got to do something else with that one. That'd be nice to have, actually. But I don't like this noise, though. Let's have a look. See, these go down as you go, shift. You learn to improve these boots. The training gives you greater. Okay. So I've got to infuse these. Okay, they are infused with draconium. Okay, stronger than diamond with uh, greater blows. And the charge goes down. Okay, control. Shield recovery. Okay, you can boost the stats by using modifiers. Hmm. Well, at least we're not suffering from nausea. It just makes that horrible noise. <laughs> put the block down here and we'll go back to base in a few seconds which is great because that's I was hoping that would happen because I didn't want to make draconium armor because I reckon it's just about impossible in this game because I don't see how we're going to get anywhere near the end of dragon 42 seconds to go huh? well what I'm going to do is I'm going to say bye for now and I'll see you next time when we go to Costello so until then bye <laughs>